Greater Emmanuel Temple, Pastor Hurst, y'all, Lady Hurst, y'all, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come and be blessed at the Greater Emmanuel Temple. Come and be blessed. You can get what you need from God. Come, on. Come and be blessed at the Greater Emmanuel Temple where God is mm-hmm. with us. He's here with where us. God is Ooh. with us. Say yes. Say and be blessed at the Greater Emmanuel Temple. Say yes. Your name, your name is strength, your name is power, a strong tower, it makes me say, oh, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Lift your voice and say, Oh, 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 oh. nobody. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like. Nobody like you, Lord. Lift your voice and say. Over, and I can't 
this nobody like you lord nobody like you lord oh 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 Praise him. If you know there's nobody like him. Hallelujah. Nobody like you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It is to you I give the glory. It is to you. I give the praise for you have done so much for me and I will bless your holy name. It is to you, Holy Father, there's no one like you and I will bless your name. Bless your name, and I will bless your name forevermore. It is to you, I give, give you all the glory, I give you all the praise, yeah. So much for me, and we and will, will bless your holy name. It is to you, it is to you, holy Father. There's no one like no you, one like you, and I will bless your and name. I will bless oh, your we come to bless your bless name. Your name. Oh, we will bless your name forevermore. It is to you I give. We give you all the glory. Yeah. Give you all the praise. You've done so much for me. We come to bless your holy name. It is to you, Holy Father. There's no one like you. And I will bless your name. Oh, we come to bless your name, Jesus. We come to bless you. Lord, we come to bless your name, Lord. Nobody like you, God. We come to bless your name. Glory to your name. We sing glory to your name. Glory to your name, God, forever, you are the same, we worship and adore you, oh God, we bow ourselves before you, giving you all the glory, that is to your name. Sing glory to your name. Glory to your name. We sing glory to your name. Forever, forever you are the same. We worship and adore you. Oh God, we bow ourselves before you. Giving you all the glory. That is to your name. We magnify your name. 
we glorify your name. Oh, God. You're so good to us. You're so worthy, Lord. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. Say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to thank Him. Hallelujah. And she says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Anybody know that the Lord is good? Oh, He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Come on, let's glorify the name of Jesus. Hey, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is. Oh, give thanks, oh, give thanks unto the unto Lord. The Lord. Oh, oh, oh. He's so good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, oh, oh. He's so good. And our God is worthy. He's so worthy. Yes, he is. He's so good. And our God is worthy. He's so worthy. Oh, oh, oh. He's so good. Sing, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. He's so good. Sing, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. He's so good. Our 
God is worthy. He's so worthy. worthy. Oh, oh, oh. He's so good. And our God is worthy. He's so worthy. worthy. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Come on, put those hands together. Hallelujah. Yeah. Say thank you, Lord. 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 For your grace and your mercy. For waking me up this morning. Signing me on my way. Thank you, Lord. 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 Food on my table. Thank you, Lord. I know you're able. Thank you, Lord. 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 Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, Lord. My provider. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah Nisi. Thank you, Lord. Fight every battle. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah Shalom. Thank you, Lord. You are my peace. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Sing, oh, give thanks thanks unto the Lord. Lord. He's so good. Yeah. He's so good. Yes, he is. Our God is. Our God is good. Worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the honor. Come on, somebody praise him. Hallelujah! Come on, put those hands together. Say thank you, Lord. 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 Come on, give them your best praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord. 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 beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and then he says and be not conformed of this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of, a, of your mind that you may prove what is that acceptable perfect will of God you cannot prove the will of God with the old mind you had. 
The only way we can prove what the will of God is in our lives is our, li our minds must be transformed. So, so therefore, God don't want me to say at one end, I live for him, but I have not been transformed. And so this, this is how we know whether or not you've been transformed. Are you ready for this? And I, and I know somebody might swipe away and some of you might turn me off because this is, might not be all the theatrics of what we like. But listen to what I'm telling you. This is how we know you've been transformed. Your mind tells us it's been transformed based on behavior. See, one of the things in the book of, of Timothy, it says that the house of God is the pillar of truth that teaches the saints how to behave. One of the issues that we have in the kingdom is we have a lot of people that are cross bearers, but want to live the same way and don't want to change and, 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 and don't want to want to abandon spiritual truth when you have to have sanctification, consecration and a changed life. I didn't come out of the world into the church to be the same person. And here's the other thing. I don't come out of the world in the church to find, watch this, this is the problem that we have in Christianity, to find everybody that's like me. In other words, I don't come out the world in the church, and if I'm a liar, I don't want to come and congregate with liars. I, I want to come and congregate with people that were liars, but they can show me, let me show you how you can live truth now. Or when you, when you come in, I, I don't want to come into a church full of Christians that are depressed because I have that. So when I come in, I want you to show me how I can have joy. We don't need people to pretend to know who Jesus is. We have to be in a position where we know him from a personal standpoint. And that, this is how we know that you know him. This is how you know that you don't have to act one way in church. And one way or another somewhere else. When you know Jesus, you'll be the same wherever you go. I don't have to try to live holy. I don't have to try to be a Christian. No, I, I walk with God with the disciplines, with the failures and the falls, with the sins, with the forgiveness and the blood, the journey of a relationship. It, it, it's like what my wife, my, my wife and I, this month is our anniversary. And and we're very thankful. Is it 23 years? So we will be celebrating 23 years of marriage. That's 23 years of get it right. That's 23 years of you can do better than this. That's 23 years of how the two become one. See, see the thing is, is that when you neglect discipleship, You'll get weary because you you because you some people fail to see the process of salvation. See, it's a beautiful thing when you can look in the mirror and see change. I'm not talking about your outfit. I'm not talking about whether or not you wear makeup or earrings or pants. I'm I'm not talking about well, how do you look. See, because see, here's the thing: a lot of us are stuck. In a mindset of how close to the edge I can be with God and still and, and consider myself relevant without losing it all and at the same time holding on to God in the world. Now, here's the problem with that you are on this high wire, and it's hard to live life like this because guess what? Until you get a solid foundation to have some balance, your life with God should not be like this every day. Something wrong. Because I'm going to tell you, get off the high wire. Why are you taking a chance? You're going to get weary. Because sooner or later, you're going to have to come down. Now, either you're going to fall down, walk off. See, see here's the thing. When you have Jesus in your life, he has you too. So there is a level of depending on the grace of God to live for him. But 
The Bible teaches us in the book of Romans, chapter number six, it says, shall we continue in sin? Lord, don't help me teach this today, Lord. That's the question. Shall we continue in sin? God forbid. How shall we, he says, that are dead to sin live any longer therein? You're not supposed to. Now watch this. It don't mean you're not going commit to commit a sin. We're not supposed to live in sin. It should not be our lifestyle. Or oh, I'm talking to somebody right now. See, you, we don't we don't live in sin and then pick Jesus up when we when we need him. No. See, you live you don't live in sin and pick up Jesus. No, Jesus picks you up. You live with Jesus, and if you sin, you already have Jesus. The Bible says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we live in continual sin, then what is the purpose of being here, being with Jesus or him dying on the cross? It's, it's, it's mighty quiet now. Because if I still murder, then I have not repented. If I still commit adultery, Fornicate and lie and cheat. Oh Lord. Sexual immorality. Then I have I have not repented. So now I have not been regenerated, regenerated. I am now operating from the old man. So now here it is. So now we have to be careful because we're going through a process of change. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are. All things are become new. So therefore, if all, all things are passed away, all things are become new, then why am I living old style? I should be looking for a transformation in my life. Why? Because Jesus is in it. My wife and I are talking about with our relationship. There should be something in our relationship after all these years, they say there has to be something about her that is a reflection in my life. My question to those of you that are watching from home and those of you that are listening here, what has changed since Jesus has been in your life? Am I boring you already? He, he says this now, be, bear ye one another's burdens, so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing he would deceive himself you can't you, now watch this now that you have received the, the, this is for the goody two shoes people now that you received uh, of Jesus and you talk about the things that you, you used to do you don't do no more and the places you used to go you don't go no more and, and, and now you want to judge other people see see I found out some people have that attitude because you can't do what you used to do Lord have mercy oh y'all looking down at me right now see it, it, it's easy to talk about people fornicating when nobody don't want you uh, yeah, oh yeah, Brother Stephen said that part. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all, all all this fornication and all that, that. Yeah, yeah. Now, but now let some men chase after you. Let some women go after you. Now, now, if but if you don't have that problem, that's not your issue. Oh, but there's the filthiness of the spirit. Uh, your attitude stinks. You lie. You cheat. You you have you you're a jealous person. You, you have a spirit of jealousy on you. You, you don't want to see nobody win but you. That's not clean either. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, 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 Lord. And, and so therefore, Lord, create in me a clean heart. Oh, God, renew a right spirit within me. You will begin to look at others and see their issues, and then God will remind you. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before you dog them. Before you, do, I'm not saying you can't judge, but when the Bible says, "Judge not, lest ye shall be judged with the same measure," 
So, so in, in other words, if you're telling them they got to be a four by four, so do you in other areas of your life. If I were you, I would show grace and mercy and direct people not to you, but direct them to the cross. So now you cannot think of yourself to be something when when you use nothing and you deceive yourself. Then he says, but let every one man prove his own work, and, and, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. So in other words, you got to put the work in for yourself. It, it, it's time out for you trying to mimic and be like somebody else. Be your authentic self. I had to learn that years ago. It took me years to preach like me. It took me years to live like me. Because uh, you, when you come into the church or when you come into kingdom circles, you have people that want to make you a clone of what they are and what they say. This is what saved looks like. This is what saved talks like. This is what, no, oh, wait, 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 wait. I understand character development. I get that. I understand structure and infrastructure. I get that. But I don't have to be like you, look like you, act like you for Jesus to love me. Come on now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yummy. Yeah, <laughs> see, see, this is this is the issue now. And because what, what we've done was now we have developed a culture where people know how to be church, but don't have the church in them. I know how to talk. Blessed and highly favored. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Uh, I, I know the scriptures. I know how to quote. I know, I, 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 I know I do all that. I know how to everybody dance the same. Everybody dances the same. Everybody dances the same. But, but, but Brother Glenn, I remember when, when, the, when the Holy Ghost, I'm going to say hit me. When I came into the church, when the Holy Ghost first hit me, I was I was tearing up all over. The, Lord have mercy. Had to have two ushers. It oh, oh, wasn't no Holy Ghost two-step. It, it, it hit you. you. You was it. Lord have my y'all y'all mighty quiet right there. And they, somebody uh, had my eyes closed, don't know where I'm going. Just... And when you got done, you 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 sweated your shirt out, tie over your head, your makeup ran out, Lord God, tore your stockings, y'all not talking back to me. But you was like, God is good. Now you you, you crossing, picking them up, putting them down, sweeping them floors. And so now you got people that don't have Holy Ghost, don't know Jesus, looks at that and says, ah, ah, that's a culture. I can adapt to that. Oh, yeah. Anybody, ah, say, yeah, oh, yeah, well, I could do, I can do that and launch me a career in ministry. I don't have to be called. It's called having a good job. It's a hustle. I can get a hustle going. Yeah, so, so now people have adapted to bishops, apostles, pastors, evangelists, how, how to carry yourself. How, oh, bless, oh, I'm a first lady, I'm a let lady, I'm, oh, blah, 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 blah. Right? But when you go home with us, when you look at our marriages, look how we raise our children, look at our prayer life at home. Look at our ambitions. What what do we when we get up in the morning? What do we go after? Some of you feel like you're not blessed because you're not rich. Gotta have more money, more money, more money, more money, more things, more bling bling. And I'm, I'm not and I'm not kicking against that. But you will find yourself getting weary, chasing something and someone that will always run away from you. After a while, you you get if you get older. After a while, this, Lord have mercy, there are things that I had ambitions for in my 20s that now I'm four, I'll be 47 this year. I, I look at stuff that was so important to me. Now at 47, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'll deal with that in the morning. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Oh, you at 30 years, 30 years old, you thought, oh boy, 20, you thought the world was coming to the, ah, I got to do this. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, you just praying, God help me. Oh, Jesus. When you get 50, you'd be like, in Jesus name. 
It may, must not have been for me. Because you, you, you can get so weary. You, you, you live to a point where you're trying to please some everybody. Please them. Please them. Pleasing folk that don't like you know how. And then you found out. You found out. And all that giving and all that sacrifice, all that stuff you did for them. And then when you needed them, they didn't have time for you. And so now you feel stupid. Because you said to yourself, I don't bent over my life backwards, transformed my life, did all this for them. And now I'm in need because God is letting you know, stop putting people on pedestals and making them your God. You just gotta stop, stop praising, stop lifting people so up that you hope that they, it will return. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. Un can, can we be humble again? Can we go after God instead of chasing people, places, and things? You're so tired. Have we not learned from COVID? Hasn't COVID shut down enough for us to understand that it's all about God? Do you not know uh, the millions and thousands of people that have been impacted by this COVID? Right now, somebody would, if they can give it all back just to have that, that loved one back, they, they would do it. If they can give it all back and get their taste back in their mouth, y'all not talking back to me. If they can get it all back and just not even just be worried about stuff, all the worries of this, go back to normality. Some of us don't know how blessed we are. Tell somebody don't faint. Just say it. Uh, uh, just even with your with your distance. Just say don't faint. Don't faint. I, I gotta wrap this thing up. So so don't faint. So so now he he says something powerful. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, capital S, shall of the capital S spirit reap life everlasting so in other words if you spend your life with all your energy and investment on carnal things that uh, your job your 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 money your life your lifestyle how you look what you have and, and all of that that corrupts in other words that stuff dies and you will die with it but if you learn how to sow into the spirit when you learn how to give your life to God and now you're looking at things that are invisible I'm loving on people because I'm leaving a legacy I worship God because he's my king I lift him up because what would I do without the Lord on my side don't you know that job you have came from God those family members you worship came from God that car you like to drive came from God if it wasn't for the Lord that was on your side where would you be don't you know right now that I don't care how much money you have that if you get sick you ain't doing nothing but laying on your back help, help, asking somebody to help you don't you know how hey, the COVID has showed us that we're not that victorious as we thought we were it has showed us that we're not as powerful as we think we are it showed us I can shut an economy down I can shut the school system down I can shut the presidency down the White House had to struggle the governments have to struggle China has to struggle. Italy, oh God, Brazil, South America, North America, Canada. Everybody's with a struggle. But anybody here recognize that you're glad that you got God on your side. That regardless of how big COVID is, our God is bigger. Our God is bigger. I'm sowing in the spirit. I'm going to sow in the spirit. I'm going to pray now. I wasn't praying like I would, like I should. But now, before I leave, you better pray. Uh -huh, my, my family, we did some traveling. You better believe we prayed. We took the mask and everything else. But you better learn how to use the blessed oil too. You better learn how to trust in God. You out here trying to make it happen for yourself. Not understanding that the devil's 
was throwing everything at you hoping that you would forget about God I'm here to tell you there's all types of folk that are leaving here oh God not just the sinners but the righteous too bishops and apostles and evangelists and world shakers have left the planet and you up here playing like you just got another day just because you are who you are the devil is a liar the only reason we're here is because Jesus is who he is and anybody here glad to know that every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before and I got a reason to lift God up don't you know right now have you ever been so tired that the body just don't want to line up I want to talk to some folk that deal with diabetes and sickness and cancer and disease when your equilibrium is off when your blood levels are off when things are off the body just don't want to do right and some of us are like that in the spirit we're weary and we just can't get it through you got cloudiness in your mind you you got palpitations and you just don't know what to do some of us are like that in the spirit but I want you to understand that God knows who you are what you are and what you are doing and I'm here to tell you right now Jesus is the master physician I'm not just talking about your physical ailment but he's able to heal the sin sick so I said sin I said S-I-N Lord help me deal with me Lord help me I should have died a long time ago Jermaine should have been buried a long time ago why am I thinking like I used to think and talking like I used to talk something is wrong with this picture and some preachers are you going to have to pay for this because we ought to tell people about the transformation power of God I'm not talking about being perfect and doing it your way and hiding what you're struggling with that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is it's the grace and the mercy and the blessings and the favor of God when you think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you your soul ought to cry out hallelujah I want you to understand when I look over my life and I begin to think things over I recognize I don't deserve to be here I'm not fit to live and I wasn't ready to die but I thank God that when I came to the house of God he called my name and I'm like many of you when you got baptized you came up out of the water excited but that old school apostolic church told me they said son that's good but there's another step that you got to have and what is that step sir you need the power of the Holy Ghost I didn't know nothing about no Holy Ghost I didn't know nothing about no salvation I got baptized and I had a good feeling but the old saints that took me under the wind and said that a good feeling is not good enough you don't need a good feeling you need a good feeling <laughs> yeah I missed that right there let me say it again we got too many Christians with a good that just want a good feeling but you need a good feeling anybody here watching me have you been filled with the power of the Holy Ghost I'm not ashamed yeah I'm holy yeah I speak in tongues yeah I love the Lord yeah I'm a worshiper yeah I believe in sweat equity when I worship God there's a time when the hallelujah is just not good enough there's a time when you just say oh Jesus we love you and Lord you're so wonderful that's fine yeah. but you know what I loved about the world was everybody's celebrating the fact with DMX see because when DMX would rap and talk he said you know what I mean you gotta do that he had strength and he had fire with his rap he, he did it with some fervor and here you are trying to hide that you got the power of the Holy Ghost I'm not telling you that you should act unseemly and act crazy but I'm here to tell you something's wrong when you always cool all the time and when was the last time you raised your hand and you didn't say hallelujah but you shouted hallelujah oh Lord have mercy some of you haven't been in church for over 12 months and you mean to tell me you are so reserved what's wrong with you David said I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord don't you know somebody right now can't wait to get back 
to the nightclub. Because they said, when I get there, I'm popping bottles. I'm going to pray. I'm going to dance. I'm going to have my good time. Uh-huh. With my mask on, I'm still going to get it. Oh, y'all missed it right there. And here you are filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you scared. The devil is a liar. There are people living their lives. We all got to leave here one day. But I want to leave out change. I want to leave out being what God called me to be. I don't want to stand before God and say, God, I was afraid. I couldn't help nobody because COVID was out there. But I'm here to tell you right now, there's always been an invisible enemy trying to destroy your life. I got to close now, but the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places could it be that COVID is an assignment of an attack from an invisible enemy yeah could it be that you this thing is just a distraction to get you to be so afraid but can I tell you what the word says the word says sister John's that God has not given us the spirit of fear but a power love and a sound mind you are at home worrying yourself but I want you to understand that every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before you got to change what you're thinking about it because Isaiah reminded us that if you keep your mind stayed on him he will keep you in perfect peace somebody ought to touch your head right now and say I command you to do right oh y'all not talking back to me hold your head again and those of you that are watching at home put your hand on your head and say I command you to live somebody ought to say the blood of Jesus shout it out Shout it out. I'm not going to wait till the battle's over. I'm going to shout right now. I'm not going to wait for COVID to leave. For the Holy Ghost to come in. The devil is a liar. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Every day we Jesus is sweeter than the day before. So Paul says, don't be weary in well doing. For in due season, you shall reap if you think not. You gotta keep on, keeping on. Yeah, the church has been closed. The devil is a liar. I've been preaching every week since this thing started the devil is a liar I ain't retired I'm still saying preaching in season preaching out of season I'm still telling you you got to repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost wave your hand and shout Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is real yes it is I heard somebody say that I can't go out and I cannot do I know I changed the key but follow me brother Steve I got the slow drag up I want you to know that somebody complained and said Bishop Hurst you lost your mind you want to tell the saints that COVID is contagious and I do 
and I've been vaccinated too. But can I tell you that the Holy Ghost is also contagious, and I've been filled with the power of God. And I want to tell somebody that right there in your home, He can show out and touch you. Shout it out! Where my praise is at? Where the crazy praises? Open up your mouth and praise Him. Don't faint. Don't throw in the towel. Don't backslide. Come back to God. Tell God you're the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm not worthy of your glory. I'm not worthy to see another day. I'm not worthy of the food on my table. I'm not worthy of the energy that I have. I trust myself. I bathe myself. I'm not worthy to live again. But I'm so glad that grace and mercy got a hold to you. And grace and mercy got a hold to me. I got a question for you. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Yeah. He's a good God. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Our God is worthy. Say Say Shout it Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Open your mouth and bless him. Come on, church. Clap your hands. Open your mouth. Stand on your feet and lift him up. Yeah. Shout it out. Hallelujah. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall walk and not get weary. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Somebody shout, I'm not going to faint. I may cry a little bit, but I'm not going to faint. Yeah. I may feel down sometimes, but I'm not going to faint. Yeah. I may not always feel good in my body, but I'm not going to faint. May not have a lot of friends, but I'm not going to faint because I'm putting my trust in Jesus. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty say yeah got to praise him shout Jesus I wish I was in the apostolic church I wish we would praise him like we used to praise him shout Jesus yeah those who are at home Write down Jesus. Jesus will bring you through. Jesus will heal your body. Jesus will give you strength. Shout it out. Yeah. Praise him. Lift him. Magnify him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mercy. Grace God, send the blood, send the power down, send the Holy Ghost, save our soul, get my house right, get me ready, I got to leave here, I can't stay, 
somebody got to praise him. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think. Wow, what an awesome and timely word coming from our wonderful pastor, Bishop Jermaine D. Hurst. Now it's time for you to give. So into this good and fertile ground. You can give by way of Cash App by utilizing the dollar sign Get Champs, or you can look us up on Givelify at Greater Emmanuel Temple Incorporated. Thank you for tuning in to our today's broadcast. We hope to see you soon. <laughs>